What's up guys, 11 clicks here. Today, I'm doing a review of the Marvel Legends Black Widow. Got a nice picture on the side there. Image on the back and a read up. And pause and all. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, and out of the packaging, these are the accessories you get with the figure. And no better figure piece, but that nicely that's replaced with a ton of accessories. Which is really nice to see. Okay, so firstly you're getting two pairs of hands. You get a pair of fisted hands. Which are not got much added detail but you know nice simple mold um, they don't need to have lots of added details this is a comic figure so they're not super detailed from the reference material then you're also getting a pair of sort of open hands and then a pair of this one sort of sort of posing hand I guess you can't really explain what you use this for it's just sort of you know posing in certain situations but yeah looks pretty, these look pretty nice as well Then you're getting lots of these sort of bracelets things. I'm not sure what they're called, but yeah, they're pretty nice. Nice sculpted detail. You can even see the little holes in the top, and then it sort of shrinks down at this bit. Looks really nice. These are just the sort of plain ones. And then you're getting a set of shooting ones, which are clearly shooting bullets, which look really nice. You can't take this bit out, it's stuck on, but it's not an issue. They look really nice, I think. Work really well. And then you get a pair of smoking ones, which is also very nice to see. But yeah, I really like how these look as well. And then you're also going to get this jetpack, which is really cool. Got a shield logo on it. Nice sculpted detail, a bit of marbling, but not too much. Then you get the other the straps as well. Nice detail on them. Yeah, pretty nice. And two flame effects for the jetpack. So yeah, let's look at the figure. Okay, so this is how she comes. First we can take her out the box. Looking really nice, I would say. Um, I've been sat on this figure for quite a while. I wasn't sure really when to do it, because I've been doing waves. But even though I'm in the middle of a wave, and I was planning on doing it in between waves, as it's a solo figure, Black Widow movie came out the day before yesterday and I watched it yesterday so I thought do it today get it out today because today's the night so it's the third day it's out in cinemas but it's the first day it's out on Disney Plus so hopefully I'll maybe get some more views from this <laughs> just being honest and what better time to do it so yeah I thought I'd do that now even though it's not a Black Widow movie figure but I already reviewed my movie figures so anyway looking really nice first of all that head sculpt is really nice looking really like the sort of dark wash in the hair that's some really nice detail you get both the eyes painted even though you can't really see this one but yeah really nice paint on them very clean paint all over no issues anywhere moving down nice jacket you get the Avengers logo on the shoulder pads on each side yeah, really nice looking jacket over this grey bodysuit. Get the Black Widow logo on the chest. Going down, you get this really nice belt. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Not much detail on the legs. Then you get, as I said before, these, which I showed earlier. And you also do get the Black Widow logo written, I'm oh, sorry, not written, but um, marked on there, which is nice. You know, it seems to be a bit shiny on that patch for some reason. Not sure why. Yeah, you can't really see it anyway, so it's really nice that they did that. They didn't really have to. Got that print on the leg, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, the mould for this figure works really well, I think. The jacket looks nice as well. And yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how it looks. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how the jetpack works. So you get this way, this way up. And it can be a bit of a pain to put on, but you can sort of do it. There we go. And then you just sort of nudge it up bit by bit. So I actually found it much harder to take it off, but I think that was just the way I was doing it. But yeah, there it is. And I think that looks pretty good. On the back as well. Looks pretty nice 
quite straight, but there we go. I think that looks really good. Then you just plug these bits in. Like that. And then this one. There we go. And yeah, that looks great. Really glad they added the jetpack for this figure. I really like it. That looks really great. Then take it off. You just take this out. Or then you want to just just kind of just skip it off. Something like that. And I find it best to just try and get one arm off first. But then you do kind of have to work with it to get it far enough. saying it can be difficult but once you get to this point and you get one arm off then it's kind of easier yeah, I'm gonna take the hand off there we go, there we go. Check, that was a bit annoying but not too annoying okay so now for the braces um, so first you want to take them off take the hands off sorry, and then they just slide off and then you want to put in whichever one you want so put shooting effect on just slide it on and this part can get a little bit annoying to try and sort of get this hand in without bending this too much it's quite easy on this one but when I was putting this hand on it really didn't want to go in and I kind of bent this one a bit but I think it looks alright still so yeah and I think that does look really nice on the figure really glad that they did that for the other one, take that off. That one, and this one, I'll just put a smoking effect on, and then I'll put this one on. Different hand, and there we go. I think that looks great. You can sort of have it like that, and yeah, I think I think these effects look really great with this figure. I'm really, really glad that they've on this figure these effects and everything looks really great taking them off can be a bit of a pain um, especially with this one because you don't want to bend it sometimes it's easy to just try and straighten that out and then just grab it from the bracelet and then just pull all of it off there we go and you just push the hand out there we go so that's how you do them okay so first comparison I thought I'd just do these two um, you know, this is the original Red Guardian figure, and I did this because, you know, why not? And also, I wanted to say something about the Red Guardian. Um, not the figure, because obviously this is the old figure, so the new one's better, but it's about the Red Guardian character in the movie. So, uh, yeah, I did see it yesterday, and this is a tiny spoiler. It's not really a spoiler, very minor. So, if you want, you could just skip 10 seconds, but basically, he doesn't use this shield at all in the movie. Not once. Um, he has a figure in the movie that he gets in the mail um, that does have the shield so he did have it in the universe but he doesn't use it once in the movie which really annoyed me because we've had two Marvel Legends that both came with the shield so I just really wanted to see it in the movie it's annoying that it didn't so yeah that's the annoying thing but other than that just thought I'd do a nice comparison okay so I don't actually have any other Black Widow figures so I just thought I'd do the next to some other female Marvel Legends the reason is that um, I didn't used to collect like every figure that came out um, back when back when they would have come out because think about it the movie was supposed to come out in May 2020 so the figures would have come out like late 2019 and now it's July 2022 and I started my channel in May 2022 so I didn't actually get a chance to grab the the uh, Black Widow wave so uh, I did only get the Red Guardian from it yeah, that's just a reason but I'm going to be collecting all the ones that come out from now on so yeah now let's go on to some poses so much for watching i'll see you in the next one which is going to be the finishing off the demogoblin pathway we've got 
two more figures and then the demo goblin then i'm going to do the disney plus wave so yeah please like and subscribe and stay tuned